If we can talk about another subject, uh, uh, Paul, it seems sure. like you know the, the tech world has bipartisan support. People are angry about the tech world in, in some respect, and nothing ever seems to get done. Here we have uh, a court ruling against Google, a big one. Uh, talk about that and what it might mean for, for, for the tech world in general. Yeah, uh, I Googled that before we came out. No, no, just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. What a district court in D.C. has said is, look, Google, you are a monopoly. You are you're paying phone companies off to make sure that you are the uh, the search engine that everybody goes to. Uh, it is interesting to note that for those people who do support Google's ability to do all of this, this uh, this lawsuit was filed during the Trump administration. This is not a Biden thing. Um, so it began then, and it's been going on uh, since that point. Uh, it's it's not dissimilar to uh, DOJ's moves against Amazon, companies like that, uh, where they're just looking to break up that monopoly. Because what happens is Google. Google can now set the price for advertisements because everybody wants to be on Google if you're an advertiser. That's what uh, the government's not liking about it. This is a long way from over because there are district court of appeals, Supreme Court levels to go, who knows what the Supreme Court would do. Uh, but is it interesting to note that this battle did start under Trump and continued under Biden? It is a victory for the Justice Department that just feels as though there needs to be more opportunity mm -hmm. for other search engines to also have presence. All right. You can watch Paul every Sunday at 9 a.m. for the WGM Political Report. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Paul.